In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Basel. At number one, we have the Basel Zoo. This isn't just any zoo, it's the largest and oldest in Switzerland, boasting a diversity of over 640 species. From the newly renovated elephant house to the barium filled with exotic fish and reptiles, this zoo promises an adventure for every age group. At number two, we have the Kunstmuseum Basel. This museum is a treasure trove of art, featuring works from the Renaissance to the modern era. Imagine walking through rooms dedicated dedicated to Picasso, Van Gogh, and Monet, all under one roof. It's a must-visit for art enthusiasts. At number three, we have the Altstadt, or Old Town. Wander through the cobblestone streets where theologians like Erasmus once walked. The area is rich in Swiss national heritage sites and offers themed walks that take you through Grossbasel and Kleinbasel, separated by the Rhine River. At number four, we have the Baselminster. This medieval church is a marvel of architecture with its pinkish red sandstone walls and patterned roof. The church offers a blend of Gothic, and Romanesque styles, and for a small fee, you can climb up to get a panoramic view of Basel. At number five, we have the Museum Tingley. This museum is dedicated to the kinetic sculptor Jean Tingley. His whimsical, interactive machines are not just art pieces, but also a satirical take on mass production and materialism. At number six, we have the Basel Paper Mill. This is not just a museum, it's a working mill where you can actually make your own paper. The mill also showcases early printing presses and the art of bookbinding. At number seven, we have the Bustle City Hall. This red sandstone structure is a spectacle in itself. The facade is adorned with the coats of arms of the old Swiss Confederacy, and the courtyard inside is equally captivating. At number eight, we have the Basel Historical Museum. Located in the converted Barfusser Kirche, the museum offers a deep dive into Basel's late medieval period and early modern age, including a haunting dance macabre fresco. At number nine, we have Spallen Tor. This is one of the three remaining gates from Basil's medieval walls. The facade is adorned with Basil's coat of arms framed by two lions, making it a perfect spot for some historical photography. At number 10, we have Faults. This terrace offers a breathtaking view of the Rhine. It is a perfect spot for a quiet lunch or simply to relax and take in the scenery. At number 11, we have the Antiken Museum Basil. This museum is a journey through ancient civilizations, featuring Egyptian, Greek, Etruscan, Middle Eastern, and Roman artifacts. At number 12, we have the Pharmacy Historicist Museum. This museum offers an overwhelming collection of historic medical artifacts, from ceramic vessels to ancient books by physicians. At number 13, we have the Spielzeug Welten Museum. This museum holds a record-breaking army of over 2,500 teddy bears and is a paradise for both kids and adults who are kids at heart. At number 14, we have the Foundation Beiler. Located just outside of Basel, this museum houses the modern art collection of 20th century dealers Ernst Beiler and Hilda Kunz, including works by Picasso, Van Gogh, and Monet. At number 15, we have the Rhine River. The river is so much more than a body of water. It's a place for leisure and adventure. From ferries that need no propulsion to bathing areas and cafe terraces, the Rhine is the city's natural playground. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Basel. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.